Yo, ha ha, Bill uh, Nicholson. Uh, if you own a Nike Adapt sneaker, you might want to stay tuned for what I'm about to tell you. Some of it good news, a lot of it's bad news, but let's talk about it. What is good, YouTube? Your boy, Magnificent, coming back with another quick video. And today, let's talk about what is going on with the Nike Adapt. I want to say, like, the entire operation will be going or at least closing as of August 2024. Um, if you go on the Nike Adapt app, if you own a Nike Adapt shoe, you'll notice that under settings, you'll see that there's a section saying that they're going to discontinue at least using the app beyond August 2024. So what does that mean and what does that entail? So for those that are not familiar, you know that I've done previous videos and showing the gestures and different technology schemes that you can use with the Nike Adapt shoe. Um, you could actually change the lighting schemes. You can change the effects. Um, you even had a setting, if I'm not mistaken, where you could actually simulate the Nike Max shoe by you know kind of having that lighting illuminating effect on the actual buttons uh, as well as gestures that you could use you can use uh, voice technology to speak to your phone to lace to kind of tie and untie your shoe stuff like that but it seems like nike is stripping that all away as of august 2024 so what they're saying is that they'll be able to support the nike adapt app up until august 2024 after that we're kind of on our own. Uh, and their bias, they're saying that you can still use the Nike Adapt shoe by using the actual buttons, kind of tightening and loosening the shoe. But in my mind, that kind of sucks for a lot of people that have yet to actually experience the Nike Adapt technology. Now, Nike have their reasons for doing things. Uh, my only concern is obviously that at some point, you may not be able to see the actual Nike Adapt app on the Apple Store or the Android Store. So if it's beyond August 2024, um, it did say that if you buy like a new phone and you wanted to transfer the app from one phone to the other, it may not work on newer phones. Uh, but I know that there are some backdoor ways you can do it on Android and there is a backdoor way that can, you can do it on uh, Apple, but I won't promote that on the channel. Uh, what I will say, though, is that it is going to suck for a lot of people, like, again, that just didn't have that opportunity to experience the Nike Adapt technology. Um, I felt like it was something that was pretty cool. It was like one of those gizmo gadgets where, you know, you, you could put your foot inside a shoe that's preset to have a certain tension or a certain tightness, depending on what you were doing, whether you're walking, running, um, you had a different setting for each type of activity, but now... Again, with the Nike Adapt going away, you're going to have to manually do it with the buttons or the actual shoe. Comment below. Let me know what you think of this latest development because, in my opinion, it kind of sucks. But at the same time, now, if you're a shoe collector, something like this is going to become very valuable later on down the road. It's like a collector's item, right? Because this was the first self-lacing uh, self-lacing i should say jordan shoe and then you of course you had different other types of models of the nike adapt especially the basketball version one version two um, and i've also done videos on that as well uh, but for, again for those that are looking to collect and you're you're one of the, let's just say you're a jordan fanatic and you want the first or actually the first and the last <laughs> self-lacing nike adapt jordan 11 shoe which is the only shoe that actually have this this now becomes a collector's line this is the first one they did it a couple times if i'm not mistaken there was another version but this was the first version and something like this now becomes very viable after the nike adapt app just kind of just goes away it seems like nike is just moving away from the nike adapt technology altogether but you know i guess they didn't really foresee it in their future of uh, transition. So it's interesting to see what happens beyond August 2024, but I want to let everybody know that, listen, beyond 2024, you can still use your, your pad, 
you can still use the physical buttons on the shoe. You just won't be able to use the Nike Adapt app. Interesting. Your boy, Magnificent Man, I am out for now. Today is Monday, and you guys stay blessed.